we really believe that young people should have a good understanding of how technology works. They use it every day, they're really confident with it, but they don't understand the underlying technology. So for example, they all can use their phones to play a tilt game, but they don't know how that sensor works, how tilt works. This is a very, very simple sensor that we build that shows, it's just a water bottle with two pins in it that we have filled with water and we can show them that it, it knows when it's tilted and when it's not tilted so they can play a game with just this, yeah? So it's really getting them to understand how things work. Over there we've got a water bottle joystick that you can play games with a water bottle that we stuck some pins in. And if they're interested in a bit more about the science behind it, you can put a bit of salt in there and the salt will increase the conductivity so you'll get a higher reading on the board. So it's, it's just about finding our inner child, I think. We have a lot of fun showing people to do this and they um, have fun doing it, we hope. Fantastic. So the sensor that we have down here is our homemade version of um, the classic game Bop It, and we call it Box It. And with this game, it has quite a few sensors, and all of these sensors connect to what's called a Pico board. And this includes uh, a piece of foil here with a Flick It sensor here, and the program is able to read the input so it can detect when that's being used. We also have a potentiometer up here, that's able to see when you twist it. Uh, we have a simple button at the top, and then we also have a tilt sensor, which by tilting it up and down, changes the resistance, and means that you have a tilt it sensor. So one of the challenges that we had when we were doing stuff is to make a variable resistant, because it's one of the things that, it appears in so many things, but actually, when we came to try and make it, it was quite difficult. We thought about using water, but that's quite messy, especially with children. So what we remembered was graphite that conducts electricity. You can buy graphite art pencils from anywhere. Not anywhere, art shops. But um, So then we scribbled the graphite in a thick straight line. And using these crocodile clips, when you plug them into the scratch board, it measures the resistance between them. So 100 is complete resistance, nothing's getting through, zero is, it's all going through, there's no resistance whatsoever. So the closer together, the easier it is to travel between the graphite there and the end there. So that's less resistance. The further away you get, the more the electricity struggles to get through. So therefore, although it's not a straight scale, it increases more and more as you get further away. But that's a variable resistor with things you can make find in the classroom. Um, you can design these Minecraft looking characters and it's just a website where you can put blocks, different colored blocks in a little design. Kind of like a really easy to use CAD design system for 3D modeling. And so um, our design team over here is actually making on laptops um, new designs. And then what we do is we um, slice them up into all the different layers of the design and then um, cut out each layer and then glue them together after folding them. So. Um, what you end up with is the full 3D model after much tedious cutting and gluing and folding.